Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brent and today we are doing the fire spell quest for level How good not 100% sure. How by? I have some wonderful news. According to my notes, you are due for a new spell. Congratulations. You'll need to do a bit of research, however. You're also due for a bit of a vacation, so, well, two birds, one stone. The spell you will learn is the Rain of Fire, pulling molten fire from the earth into a flaming display of destruction. First, though, a fire safety lesson. And no one knows the dangers of volcanoes more than the esteemed Tupa Tower of Celestia. You should go at once to speak with Tupa Tower, the counselor to the water moles in Celestia's floating land. Get to it. Um, yeah, it is the level 68 spell. We've only just been able to um, obtain this spell. Luckily, um, for this character, uh, we don't actually have to go to anywhere where we haven't been yet. As you can see, we are only in Celestia at the moment, and there's a very good reason for this. And we are streaming this character every week um, now. Um, videos will be going up on my second channel for if you miss my streams. Um, but yeah, basically, we do every single side quest and um, every dungeon twice. Um, in order to maximize XP to see how far we can get before we're maxed. I'm expecting we're going to be in about Mirage when we max, is my guess. Um, also, Mirage is where you stop getting um, XP for side quests, so that's not the best. Um, but yeah, that is, the, that is the plan for this character. But anyway, um, we are currently going to be getting Reign of Fire, which is a super cool spell. Um... Been, I think it was one that got buffed in the most recent update. I went the wrong way because I'm dumb. I dumb dumb. I very big dumb dumb. I don't know Celestia. I've only been here for five million years. Don't know where to go though because huh, I'm very smart. Very very smart. Don't worry. I knew it was over this side. It is over here. Don't worry. We we got this. We got this chat. We got this. We are super smart. Um, right. But yeah. Basically, that is the plan with this character. So if you are interested in that challenge. Um, feel free to follow me on Twitch, linked in the description below. Also, the sponsor of this video today, um, my Twitch channel. Very good sponsor, would recommend. Um, but yeah, Watermore Village, hello, hello, hello. And he should be just over yonder in the wee little cave over here because I remember where this man's is because he's kind of important to the main storyline, which is good because he's cool. Fire wizard, you seek know-how about rain a fire spell? Water moles of old suffer much when volcanoes wake and roar. Long ago, water moles did not know how or when volcanoes were born. Bad times. When we learn to sense them, better times. Wizards who want to summon rain of fire must learn to listen to ground. Sense a vein of fire. Bring it up to ground. Best advice? If volcano comes, you should be on the other side. Uh, maybe do like water moles and uh, move out of way. I teach you ritual to call rain of fire, but you need name of volcano spirit. That you must get. From Fire Lady of Ravenwood. Tupa Tower teaches you the ritual to summon the rain of fire, but it is missing the volcano spirit's name. You will need to get that missing piece from your teacher, Dahlia Falmea. Okie dokie. I'm just recapping them because thank you, narrator. Always love the good old recap of exactly what he just said five seconds ago, but hey, that's fine. Right, to Dahlia again. Luckily, not too far away. Not too far away with teleports. <coughs> I like choked on like breath there. Jeez. Um, but yeah, we do have to go to um, Dragon Spire as well. Um, so that's the next bit. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad of a spell. Um, luckily, luckily we don't have to go to Zafari. If we did, we would be screwed. I assume you learned the ritual. Yes. Tupa Tower told you that the Rain of Fire spell requires the name of a volcano spirit. 
right? I have some unfortunate news for you. I had a list of volcano spirits, but it appears to be missing from my archives. The list was lost when Morgan's minions came poking around Wizard City. I suspect one of them in particular, the Hoarder. The Hoarder makes its home in Dragonspire, amidst the ruins. Milos Bookworm in the Athenium can guide you to the Hoarder. Go to Dragonspire, speak to Milos Bookworm, recover the list of volcano spirits. Lovely, lots of XP. We love, we love this XP. It's fantastic. Right, let's go to Dragonspire and um, head to Milos, who is in the Athenium, one of my favorite places. Favorite places of Dragonspire. I hate Dragonspire, but the Athenium is the favorite of the least favorite place. It's it makes sense. Don't worry. Don't don't look into it too much. Um, but yeah, basically, that's that's the thing. That's that's what's happening. Um, but yeah, so we currently are not in um, Zafaria, obviously. Um, so luckily for fire we've been very very lucky and only had spells that do not require you to go to the actual world that you meant to get them in um which is handy because i know some of them especially i believe it was myth you have to go to celestia for the um level um 58 one i believe it was um which is not handy dandy um very not handy because we weren't in Celestia at that time. We were still in Dragonspire. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the thing. Um, where is Milos? In the in the Athenium, in the library, over here, near the Lawmaster. One of everybody's favorite spots, the Lawmaster, because yes. Milos, hello. Greetings, young wizard. It's been a while since I last saw you. How are your studies proceeding? A list of volcano spirit names? The Hoarder? That sounds like far too much for someone as young as you. I am reluctant to tell you, but I am certain you will not leave without it. The Hoarder is in the Plaza of Conquests. If you wish to recover this list of volcano spirits, defeat the Hoarder and take it. Right, we gotta take it. Um, so yeah, I'll be back when we are at the Hoarder because I need to go and quickly set up my deck. Right, we have made it over to the Hoarder who is in the Plaza of Conquests. Um, I think everybody I lock the door to my tower, but it would keep me from such wonderful entertainment. Enter and face your doom. Um yeah, I think everybody or well, most schools have to def have to defeat this guy and no definitely you have to if you're a death wizard. Um I'm pretty sure everybody does. Um but yeah, here's death rank, rank 11 6 9 7 T health and minion has 8 90 health. Um, obviously nerfed since um, the update we have Nautilus we're gonna be seeing how well that actually is in a fight this is the first time that I have done a fight on basically any of my characters for real um, since the update of spells so it'll be very interesting to see how things go um, I do know this guy was an absolute pain on my death um, which makes sense because he is death <laughs> um, and anybody your same school is always going to be a pain instantly um, but yeah we will see. I know the minion spams weakness or can cast weakness quite a bit. So we will see how that goes. Um, I kind of want to fortify because he does have a lot of pips. He can Dr. Von, which is extremely OP. Um, Skeletal Pirate, however, I will be fine with. That isn't too bad, I believe. Hopefully. Hopefully not too bad. Um, yeah, 272, not too bad. We do have a decent amount of resist. Um, we are wearing full waterworks, I believe. So, we should be fine for the most part. But I do want to fortify just to have some extra safety. Extra safety around. Um, yeah, we do have Efreet as well, just in case. We also have Power Link, just in case we want to do that. I don't know if we will. We probably won't. But in case things get a bit sticky, we can Power Link for some health back. Um, yeah, they won't be enchanted because I don't really care about the damage. Just, just for the health, mainly. Um, but yeah, Scarecrow, good spell really good now 11 out of 10 probably one of the best death spells nowadays um it's kind of crazy seeing how how much um things have changed with like the spells and just how changing that is actually for the game as a whole um we're gonna faint is a good idea um i kind of might do i want to do nautilus or do i want to do dragon i'm not sure i might do 
I might do a dragon into a Nautilus, maybe? Because I really want to use Nautilus in, a, in an actual fight. Actually fighting someone. Because I think that would be kind of cool. Um, because I got the spell. Might as well use it. Might as well put it to use. Um, plus, it's a really cool looking spell. So, who wouldn't want to use it? Um, I'm not getting anything that I want, though. <laughs> so, I might just dragon into a Nautilus, I guess. Is probably how we're going to go. Yeah, I think that's probably the best part here is what we'll do. Dragon into a Nautilus later. Um, we should have an extra. No, we don't have an extra pip. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Nautilus is, I believe, five. So we should be able to. That did a lot. I forgot. Dragon is actually still a very good spell. Very, very good spell. Um, I think the. I think it was the overtime that got buffed as well. It's either that or the. Um, or the. Uh, or the first hit. But either way, it's still a very fantastic spell. I think it was the first hit that got buffed. Um, but yeah, I love Dragon. It's such a cool spell. Such a cool spell. Um, but yeah, Tower Shield, just in case. I don't know. Mainly because the um, Fortify is gone. We do have another one somewhere. Um, but yeah, we are right there. We do have another one right there. Um, I might want to just go for an Infall into a Blade into a hit. I guess, or we could just power link into, no, we're not going to power link because that's a waste of, that is actually a waste of, um, a waste of pips since we want to Nautilus. So we're not going to do that. Hopefully I can find some blades. I know we have more than one. Um, whether we find them, not sure about, not sure about, but I would hope, one would hope that you could find them. There we go, an infall. Um, and we, of course, pip fail but it doesn't matter because we only need five pips next round we will nautilus just because it's a cool spell and we love nautilusing or at least i do i like to see it plus it's new might as well might as well he does have a um fortify which is not the best we also have an e freak just in case um but we're gonna i kind of want another blade i really do but we can just power link i guess out of this um but yeah we'll go for a nautilus see how much this does with one blade um don't know how much it will do, but it could do a bit. This is such a cool spell. Honestly, this is probably one of my... Probably my favorite spell now in the game. My favorite spell. Oh, that did so much. What the heck? That is such a good spell. Oh my gosh, we're going to be using that. Right, next round we can um, power link to finish him off. Should be GG. Should be GG. Wow. That is such a good spell. How much health does he have, by the way? I didn't even look. Uh, 228. Wow. Love it. Needed just one more blade, but hey, that's fine. Luckily, we have Power Link just to finish him off. Um, plus, we get a cheap heal out of it as well, so that's not too bad. It will be, what, about, like, 25-ish heal? Um, 46, even better. Even better. Um, and we'll even get it next round as well, which is dope, because we can just pass and he will be dead, most likely. If not, next round. Yeah, nice. GG. Easy peasy. Not too bad. Lovely. Take what you want, wizard. It will not aid you against my queen, Morgan. She will strike from the dark heart of the shadow web and destroy everything you have ever known. That's a bit rude. Um, right, we got to go to the fire one, obviously, just over here. And you search the bookshelf and find the list of volcano names. You should take it to Professor Falmea in Ravenwood. Lovely. Let's go to home and go to Dahlia. Dahlia Falmia, and she will be very happy with us. She'll be like, yes, Brent, you did it. Congratulations. Here's a new spell. Actually, we have to go and summon the spell because that's how it works. That's how spell quests work. It's been so long since I've done a spell quest. It's been ages and ages and ages. Um, so, yeah. I haven't been questing up many of my characters recently, but that will change. We are going to be getting this guy. This will be my next character to get to max level. Well done. Now we have all we need. You've got a list of volcano spirits and the ritual to summon the rain of fire. Now it's time to put them together. Let us have you do a trial run. No need to go far. I have an affinity for fire, Cat Alley, so why don't you head over there? The area in front of Shellis Gruffheart should serve perfectly. 
Right, let's um, quickly run all the way over there real fast. Shouldn't take too long. Um, but yeah, this will be my next character to get to max. Um, what, what would you want to see from this character when he is maxed? Um, because I don't really have any idea what I want to do with this character. Obviously, we'll be farming Darkmoor, so those will be some fun streams, um, and then the drains eventually. But we'll be doing that. We do that on um, my death wizard, just so I can craft all of the things. Um, so we will eventually do that or get the fire gear i guess the fire gear will be the second set that i'm crafting um first obviously the death gear and then obviously we'll go for the fire gear but what would you want to see from this character would you want me to go into pvp maybe um because i don't know i don't know max level fire what would you want to see do you want some pve stuff um some pvp stuff i don't know what would you prefer and, and like what do you like to watch of Wiz? um just out of out of curiosity what is your favorite stuff to watch from Wiz um, but yeah here we go courtyard lovely this looks like the right place you speak the ritual call upon a volcano spirit and wait for the rain of fire oh here he goes haha -ha. amazing look at this fantastic it's landing over there we got to get the got to get the power infuse the fire power amazing I think you can handle the heat yeah i handled that heat like a pro right let's head back to dahlia and that is actually the end of that quest very short some of them are long some of them are not this one not very long at all which is cool i'm not going to complain makes it short simple easy video as well um, but yeah, let's quickly head over to Dahlia. Dun, 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 dun. Also, another question. Do you like these more kind of, um, traditional walkthrough videos? Or do you prefer something a bit more jazzy with, like, hardcore editing and stuff like that? You look like you've been standing close to a fire. Excellent work. I am proud to teach you to call upon the rain of fire lovely there we go three uh 130 um to um plus 810 over three rounds so this one got an absolute nerf to the initial hit but the i believe the overtime got a huge buff um as opposed to fire dragon which got a buff to the first hit and the overtime got a nerf um so yeah we probably won't be using this one too much um, just because I prefer the initial hit being quite big personally That's just my personal opinion because fire dragon and rain of fire basically do the same thing except Rain of fire obviously has a huge overtime whereas fire dragon has a huge first hit which I prefer so I can faint trap and stuff like that Faint trap faint stack I should say um, But yeah, otherwise, thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I'll be streaming later tonight um, the day that you're watching this with my fire doing some questing through um, Celestia will be exploring the Solarium portal and um, getting closer to finishing off. Otherwise, the uncut VODs of that will be over on my second channel, so feel free to go and sub to there. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and remember to craft outside the box.